town of Hagerstown is rallying around some of its younger athletes as they compete for a chance to play in the Little League World Series. Mother Nature dampened the plans, yeah. postponed the game at the end of the first inning, but the day was still full of excitement and fun for the kids and the parents. CBS 4's Eric Graves talked to fans who made the trek to Whitestown to watch this team play. Hundreds are here from the 2,000 person town of Hagerstown. They're all in purple, glad to support their little league team. Last week they won the state championship. This week, a chance at the Little League World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, the state champion is right in the end. There's our boys right there. Hagerstown is a place for baseball. It's one of those situations where the town kind of kind of shuts down for an evening. And right now, several 11 and 12 year old athletes are making it a very happy place to be. Us parents are realizing, man, what kind of community do we live in? We live in a community that's selfless and and want to come out and support these kids. Jay Hale's son plays on the team. He says it's been a surreal experience for his boy. His first game, he said he's never seen so many people. Um, out in the stands. Hagerstown boasts a population under 2,000, and Monday night, you would have found a good bit of them in Whitestown for this game. We're a small community, very close knit, um, so it's awesome to see everyone come out here to support us. John Murphy and is the president of Hagerstown Little Saturday. League. He says there is anywhere from 200 to 250 people sporting this brotherhood of young athletes. Every time they break out of a huddle, they say family. <laughs> Hagerstown Little League won districts, then state, and then won again on Saturday, when Monday means a shot at the championship game and an appearance at the Little League World Series. We always try and tell the kids, don't, you know, don't let the moment be bigger than what, what you are, but uh, this is an opportunity that a lot of these kids are never going to get again. Not to mention they're playing on the worldwide leader in sports. It'll be exciting to kind of rewind it and go go look at it, you know, and, and watch it and, and just see what they say about the kids. But the fans here know there is no place better to be. In Whitestown, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. So again, like we said, today's game was postponed because yeah. of that uh, strong rainstorm mm -hmm. we had. It'll pick back up tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Yeah, and in the time of the delay, Team Indiana was up 3-0 to zero in the top of the second inning. Oh, so, by the way. Yeah, oh, by the way.